Good evening everyone. We a team of 10th grade students consisting of myself Amreen Sandhu, Hatinder Pal Singh, Hitarth Chopra, Karan Chauhan and Prajwal Mahajan are here to present this year's grand prize submission Vona. Moon was supposed to be made of cheese. Stars were thought of as twinkling lanterns. Back in 1902, no one really thought that man could set his foot on moon. But 67 years later, that dream was realized. What is the most resilient thing in the world? A virus? A bacteria? It's an idea. An idea that is fully formed, fully understood. that sticks in our mind and man became obsessed with the idea of expanding the horizons of his knowledge after exploring into the depths of the microscopic world he pondered upon the question what is out there that is beyond the understanding of our mind and thus began his quest to discover the unknown to reach the unapproachable to colonize in the hostile space this is the dawn of the space colonization era and it begins with wanna 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 is the icelandic translation of the word hope it is the new hope for human beings taking them beyond the confines of the earth moon system on towards mars it's a versatile dynamic space colony planned to construct at the geosynchronous orbit and then move on towards its destination the martian aerosynchronous orbit the geosynchronous orbit due to its proximity to the earth moon system allows the utilization of resources from both earth as well as the moon thus making it appropriate for the construction of our settlement A design is not how it looks or feels it's how it works Steve Jobs Structural design is the first and the foremost thing that comes to our mind when we envision a space settlement it has to put together both aesthetics as well as logic but creating a complex space colony from scratch is not an easy job we had to design and redesign the structure several times and many obstacles came across our path but we worked hard and put our brains to relentlessly work upon the idea of creating a perfect space colony and the result was a design so precisely thought of so accurately crafted that we can proudly claim it to be a satisfying blend of art and innovation the structural components the structure comprises of the central hub It is around which one would be constructed. It further consists of two recreation centers and two docking stations constructed on either ends. The agricultural pirasso torus. It is fundamentally a truncated torus but further divided into segments known as pirassos, each having unique atmospheric conditions to maximize the crop yield. The residential hybrid torus. It combines the best of the simple and the truncated torus into a single design. housing a large population of 16640 permanent residents the industrial wave structure inspired by the design of water waves each wave represents a unique industry it also has area allocated for the companies who are willing to invest in the structure of wana the perfect combination of all these components combined to form the structure of wana the construction sequence first of all the lunar base is constructed comprising of the residential biome the tourist biome the observatories and the mineral extraction labs constructed at the Shackleton crater starting at 2045 the construction is held at the geosynchronous orbit of earth where first of all the central hub would be constructed it enables one to store all the resources which are required for the further construction of components within the space colony itself then the agricultural pirasso torus are constructed Nephine or transparent soil like particles are utilized to create agricultural fields 
and all the life support systems are integrated. Then the residential hybrid tori are constructed and solar panels are encrusted on its exterior surface. And finally Vana is completed with the construction of the industrial wave structure. The Van Allen Radiation Belt The Van Allen Radiation Belt is an electromagnetic radiation flux surrounding Earth which has the tendency to harm biological resources in space. Thus, to ensure a safe environment for residents, Vana plans to deploy the High Volt System which is the high voltage long orbiting tether system which can minimize this Van Allen flux to approximately 1% of the present amount. The Asteroid Amon 3554 Regarded as the most valuable asteroid orbiting Sun, it comes closest to Earth on 23rd March 2061. Coincidentally, this is also the time when Vana finishes its final construction phase. Thus, this asteroid is captured and then propelled towards the lunar base where dedicated mineral extraction labs would take care of its resources. The settlement now enters into the second leg of its space journey. Vona would make the transition from the geosynchronous orbit onto Hohmann transfer orbit on its way to Mars. Installation of life support system. Once the infrastructure is in place, the next priority is to install state-of-the-art life support systems, not only to sustain the life of the residents but to improve their quality of life. Zeolites and VPSA will be used for extraction of gases from Martian and lunar atmosphere. Shackleton crater on Moon and Vastitas Borealis region on Mars will be used to obtain water resources. Nephion, transparent soil-like particles will be used as a growth medium in zeoponics and Nutrient film technique will be used in hydroponics inside agriculture Pirasotaurus. To generate electrical energy, HyperX solar cells, which integrate the structure of quantum dot solar cells and vertically aligned carbon nanotubes, which provide an efficiency of 99.993% will be used. By 2071, residents would be brought inside the settlement once the residential colonies inside Vona have been customized for habitation. Human life is much more than air, food, water and survival. It thrives on an optimum elixir of work and recreation. The recreation center with zero and microgravity are equipped with technologies like omnidirectional treadmill and virtusphere to keep the residents entertained. We also plan to set up a sports committee to organize sports events like galactic soccer to break the monotony of everyday life. Communication Systems To maintain contact with Earth and to avail internet services, Vona plans to deploy Vona Neutrino Communication Grid, consisting of the Ophion satellites that would relay information across networks on Earth, Mars and between both of them. Vona would utilize neutrinos as the primary communication medium. Neutrinos are the particles of weak interacting nature which can pass through biotic and abiotic resources without causing damage or change and thus allowing us to maintain a highly efficient and uninterrupted communication across the grid. What started off as a space sojourn in search of a surrogate home has now evolved into Earth 2.0. In circa 2073, Vona would reach Mars and eventually enter into the aerosynchronous orbit, sandwiched between the orbits of Phobos and Deimos. Vona as an economic hub. Now with the settlement in place, outposts established at Mars, Phobos and Deimos, with operations in full swing, extraterrestrial resources would be exploited and routed to Vona. Also, the industrial units at Vona would become fully functional and start marketing assets to Earth. Space exploration probes would be released beyond the asteroid belt, expanding the horizons of cosmological research. Additionally, observatories at Vona and Mars would begin their research. Vona would now emerge as an alternate home in space. That is not only economically viable and research intensive, but would also open new frontiers for space exploration and human survival in space. The financial structure should be designed in such a way that the funds that have been lavishly spent on the project 
should be recovered as soon as possible so as to convert the initial deficit into profit. For this purpose, we plan to undertake additional activities that will enable us to repay our debts and supplement the profits from primary operations. Liquid assets would be acquired from the following channels. Contracts Selling minerals and fuels Tourism and selling electrical energy. Funds acquired for the project would be repaid by 2065, just 24 years after the initialization of operations. As humans, we are naturally predisposed to evolve into something higher than what we currently are. This has brought us from the Eolithic age to the age of space exploration. The urge to explore is encrypted in our DNA and has led us to unfold the secrets of the universe. In the mad rush of curiosity, we sometimes overlook the obvious and lose hope, which then condemns us to start all over again. It's only when we begin with an idea to innovate and with the need to act on that idea that we succeed. Our project started off as an idea to create a perfect living habitat in space. With our hard efforts and hope in our hearts, we arrived at Vona, a ray of hope to guide humans on the path of space colonization. This presentation would not have been possible without the time and effort of many people. We would like to especially express our immense gratitude towards Mr. Al Globus, Ms. Lynn F. Zelensky, National Space Society, NASA Ames, Distinguished Audience and Press, our alma mater APJ School Jalandhar, our mentor, guide and teacher Mr. Emmanuel Ratnaraj, and a team member and friend who could not attend the conference, Aditya Pradap Singh.